Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon everyone. And um, I don't know if anyone has joined me, but yay, we are back again for our IG live section. And I am super excited for today. Yes, I'm super excited for today. It's our last edition of our IG live event. I'm super, super excited. It's our Christmas edition and Christmas is in two days. So it's like my most exciting edition of today's event. And 2022 has been that year. Yes, that been that year filled with so, much, so a lot of um, events, wins, loss, but all the same we are standing and this is a season to reflect and be grateful for all the things we've got and look forward to the coming year so yes i'm excited about today let's reach out to our colleagues our friends and tell them that yes we our ig live section has started yes 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 and today we have a very interesting topic we'll be discussing today we have a very interesting topic we'll, I'll, I'll be, we'll be talking about driving and security tips to ensure that you and i are safe during the festive season uh, christmas is in two days and there is so much bustling there will be so much activities what is a dense december without um your you being safe without your property your assets being safe so it's very important that we are security conscious so that's the essence of our ig life today so please reach out to your friends reach out to your colleagues let them know that we have started yes and i have um an amazing person join us today so today is very 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 important because we're going to be looking at how you can you're able to predict and evaluate harmful situations before they occur it's very important that you you're very sure you see the red flags and say oh no mm, this is a security risk especially this season so you need to shine your eyes so and also this section by the end of the section you'll be able to um, save costs by reducing damages and losses caused by wood accidents we know that a lot of people will be traveling so it's very important that you prevent wood accidents no matter how small how you can save money and instead use the money to flex and also learn to defend yourself from intruders and also most importantly you have to enjoy it then to december so by the end of this um of this ig live section you'll be able to enjoy all of that tip so um quick one i have with me today um a, a gopro um Godfrey, and he's the acting head marketing communications at the concept group he will join me joining me anytime soon i'm yet to get a request I'm yet to get the request. So, so please reach out to your friends. Like I said, today's um, section is very, very interesting and very exciting. It's our last edition for the year. And also, we're going to be announcing the winners of our uh, Nova Quizard. Today's edition is very special. So, please, please let us. Um, we're going to be announcing our winners for our Quizard. So, it's very important that they join us um, now very important that you join us now so um good afternoon good afternoon mr Duffy. yeah good afternoon can you hear me yeah so um, it's, i'm super excited to have you join us today yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i'm super excited so um like i said uh, during my introduction this is our christmas edition and it's very exciting and we have a very interesting topic and we me live now is a group or go free is the acting head marketing communications at the concept group so welcome mr Godfrey. welcome once again so <laughs> so without without wasting time let's dive in into the questions for the day let's dive in into the, the discussion for, for today so i don't know can you hear me clearly oh okay okay thank you oh okay so um first my first question is that um our, our topic says driving and security tips to be safe. So I wonder, it's Christmas, it's festive season, so everyone is supposed to be, it's just supposed to be positive vibes. But my question is that, are there security risks during this season? Is it possible that there are security risks? If yes, why? Why is everybody not just flexing and nobody is stealing from anybody? 
is, is, are there possibilities of security risk during this event? Oh, sorry, I, I can't hear you. No, I can't, I can't hear you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's clear. I can hear you now. I can okay. hear you now. Okay, okay. All right, so the festive uh, period is an unfortunate reality for, for many who become victims of opportunistic thieves. So uh, okay. why one is busy putting all the finishing touches to their holiday preparations and ensuring their home is properly protected and, 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 and has all the full stuff of stocks so a lot of people are actually thinking of how to exploit um the moment to steal from others and then um cause mayhem to the society uh, the christmas period traditionally sees a sharp increase in domestic burglary with yeah. criminals to be very vulnerable um so from a from a reported statistics by by new uh, new polls um it, it states that 65 percent of nigerians thinks their country is not safe during festive period. And why 37% of Nigerians describe uh, their locality as not being secured. Which wow. shows like the level of insecurity we, we express at the moment. And wow. so it, it is worthy of note to state that the most common form of insecurity or security threats is most likely, in any location, is most likely tied to armory during festive period, which is mm -hmm. about 37% of the polls that was conducted. And so um, the question is, the, the question if there is a security risk at festive season, yes, there, there are. But our focus for this, um, for this discourse will be how to mitigate against such risks um, for, the, for, the, for the season. Okay, thank you so much. So I think it's clear to our audience that, oh, as you are enjoying your 30 December, it, yeah, you have to know that ah, there are some other persons who are not who are dead out to harm you. So it's very important that we are, we are security conscious. So thank you so much for that. Um, I, I love this plenty statistics that came with yeah. the answer. Thank you so yeah. much. So my second question is being aware that, oh, there is this security risk. What, what are the tips that we, you, you, what tips would you share with us to ensure that we are safe, to ensure that while we are driving, while we, we are at that event that we are always safe what tip will you share all right so before i actually go to the tip i would like to share like um, a personal experience okay um with with um with, yeah with me and then uh, my friend so I, I i think um last yeah last festive period okay i mean we went to a popular beach house in in lagos where we okay. had a lot of a lot of drinks and we we partied all to all through the night and then we're <laughs> coming back to the mainland um so if, for those of us who stay in Lagos, we know Ireland and mainland. So we come back to the mainland as at um, 2 a.m. in the morning and we're all drunk. And okay. even, even our driver too is drunk. Everyone was drunk and all like that. I mean, it got to a point, it got to a point where the last thing I remember was, was taking a few shots with my friends. And then the okay. next thing I also remember was waking up from my own bed. I mean, so I was wow. like, how did, I, how did I get here? So which means that if there was like a, like a security threat at the moment, I'll, I'll probably yeah. be at... At, at, at the other um, um, harm's way and, and all like that. Not just me, but also my friends too. So the holiday season is um, comes with a lot of, full of celebrations along with happiness, I mean, in Nigeria and all. So with everybody being busy with um, going shopping, partying, hanging out with friends. And, and um, mo most times you notice that some of the popular places you know, even our streets are usually overcrowded, um, especially yeah. in, uh, during festive period. So, a um, so few tips that uh, we could observe while driving or using the road at this time is that uh, do not drink and drive. Yes. So, um, so um, drunk, um, drunk drivers or probably when, um, uh, when you're drunk and you're driving is among one of the main culprits for, for car accidents and road deaths in Nigeria. And yes. so, uh, let's, let's make it a point um, not to... Not to drive or not um, drive while we're drunk or while we're drinking uh, if you are to actually um, engage in festivity enjoyments and all like that so and yeah. um, staying up at late at night um, 
when you don't have a designated driver, especially when you have to drink, it's also uh, something that needs to be avoided during um, the first period. And also, another thing we also need to um, take note of is um, over speeding. Yeah. I mean, so is this, this period you actually see a whole lot of cars um, over speeding on the road? Because, it, I mean, a whole lot of people are traveling, and so the roads will be a bit free. And because they're a bit free, um, yeah. who, who, who want to actually um, put in more acceleration to their cars and all like that. So yeah. um, it's advisable we don't get, actually get over speed this period. Um, even if you're in a hurry or to, to go to a party or go shopping during your holiday, this is a, it's, it's um, very important we need to stay within the speed limit um, to keep you on orders um, within the um, road speed safety measures or uh, speed safety limits. Otherwise, uh, we might actually be at a high risk of not only accident, but also getting, um, um, do, do I say ticket right now, or probably booked or sanctioned by well, this last man and, uh, and, and the road safety guys and all. So another yeah. thing would be, um, another thing to prevent um, road or uh, road mishaps is having trackers, vehicle trackers okay. um, in, in your car. So um, vehicle tracking is, uh, is an important technology for safety, not only um, for fleets of vehicles, but also for um, individual drivers. And so this is becoming even more important for road, um, um, how do I pray, for, for road users during first period, using um, yeah. the latest technology in, in, in car tracking. I know because this technology is actually very, very accessible. I mean, we have companies like Concept Nova, um, yeah. we have companies um, uh, um, in Nigeria who actually offer these services um, even at a very cheap rate and all. So, um, ensuring you have um, a, a car tracker installed in yeah. your vehicle is one of the ways you can actually stay safe on the road. The last but not the least is also to install anti shattering films for your vehicle windows. I mean, yeah. so I, I, you, you can't afford to keep valuables in your car overnight, especially when you go to the passes and you have to park um, in, a, in a lonely road or probably in a lonely car park and all like that. Um, yeah. Because there, there's every tendency, someone might decide to get over zealous and says break through your windscreen to steal your valuable. Yeah. So why some people know about um, the wind frame ability um, in the market to um, to extend windows life and reduce glare and lower air conditioning costs and all like that, like that. By um, installing these anti-shattering film devices, you also get to protect your valuable. You get to protect yourself because it's at this time some of those um, boys on the road, especially Especially Oshodi, sorry, <laughs> sorry Oshodi, because I've actually encountered some of them in the past. And yes. all. So they, they they actually get over zealous and decide to try your your windscreen and see if how they can actually extort your valuable from you. So it's really important if you using the road at this period, make sure you have the track your, your trackers on, your anti shattering and film glass film on, and also make sure you are not over speeding. And also, last but not the least. Make sure you're also driving um, okay, over speed. Make sure you're, you're also not drunk while driving. All right. Okay, so awesome. I, see, I, I hope my audience are jotting down. Please, if you must drink, don't drive. <laughs> and uh -huh. I, I, I know there is, there is so much excitement. So please, no over speeding. The roads are freer than usual, but please. Everyone, sh everyone should chill. <laughs> everyone should chill this period. And also, very important, get your car tracked. If you love your car, please track it. Then also, um, have a um, anti shutter film protection. And there's something you also mentioned that would take us to our next question. That Because we will be uh, going to cinemas, carnivals, a lot of places. And you would have to keep your vehicle at public parking spaces. So you mentioned that I want, I want us to show more light to them. What are some precautions you have to take? Because what would you see and know that, oh, this is the red flag? What should you ensure that that you just know that, oh, especially if you're going to stay over the night, is something you're going to stay over, how do you ensure that, oh, you not come to your car and and it's, it's, it has been vandalized already? What, are the pre what precautions should one take when you're parking your vehicle at a public parking space? Okay, all right. So, um, so great questions, right? So, um, vehicle theft has emerged as one of the fastest growing crimes in Nigeria. Yeah. I, I remember while growing up, uh, one of my dad's car was stolen. Um, so what happened was we were, I think, I, I think they were, they were um, constructing a well 
inside our compound. And so okay. um, there was no space for him to park. So he, he parked outside the gate. And then um, <laughs> he parked outside the gate. So then when he woke up, when we woke up the next morning, so it's very usual of me to wash his car um, okay. for the start of the day. So I went outside. I didn't see any car. I came back. I said, Pop, see, how far? I didn't see your car. Where is your car? <laughs> the guy came with his toils. It came outside, this car is missing. You understand? So, I mean, car theft is actually very popular um, in this part of the world, right? So, um, as per official data, um, there are about 100 cases of car theft reported each day, especially in yeah. urban areas like Lagos, and especially during the festive period. And the figures is, and more, is not, even, it's not even better for rural areas because, of, although urban areas is really easy for, for us to actually keep record, but I, I think it's even worse for rural areas. So, um, according to expert, the tendency of people to to park their vehicles at unauthorized places has contributed greatly to um, to the rising man- maintenance. Um, and so, safe parking for your car um, hence plays a very important um, role in ensuring the overall safety and security of a car during the festive period. So, also, if you live um, in a place like Lagos, uh, which usually has high traffic congestion and very limited parking spaces, I mean, you go to some houses. I mean, they don't actually have parking space in their house. So they just park on the streets and all. So it's important for you, for for any for you, for anyone who is listening to, this, to follow some basic car and parking tricks, um, especially for especially um, the parallel parking tricks or the reverse parking tricks or what what, what have you. And so this will not only prevent the chances of a car getting damaged, it would also help you avoid the necessary conversations with people who might actually want to um, steal your valuable or probably steal your car. And so um, so basically, um, to answer your question, right, so there are just um, just three, three, three things you can actually do, right? So the first one is um, park your vehicle in a very dedicated parking places. I mean, yes. don't just go parking in, uh, um, in, in, in a place where you would actually be in the danger of losing your valuable. And so once you actually see a sign, no parking, don't park there. Rather, you ask them, where can I actually park my car? Um, that it's actually um, very, very acceptable to people around and also also very secured for yourself. So make sure you park your car in a very dedicated parking space. And the second one, park close to other cars and in a well-lighted area. Like, so because a whole lot of people will be indoors um, passing and a whole lot of, especially our, our Igbo brothers, will not probably be in the heat. So it's very possible that some very urban areas will be um, will, will look a bit scanty and some lights might actually go up in some areas. So it's really important we actually park in areas that actually has good light and then other cars are actually there. So it's so easy for anyone to actually track and, and, and put an eyes on and all. So and last but not the least, lock your car properly and do not leave any valuables in your car. Yes, thank you. Thank you so, so much. So I really love the fact that you shared a personal experience. You know that in Lagos, we are used to pickpockets. So, but people are not, they cannot relate to car theft. They feel like, oh, it's a very big car. How would someone just steal the car? So mm-hmm. car te- theft is actually a reality, something that happens every day. And the stati- statistics are alarming. So it's very important that we take these steps, please. If you want to park, if you go to the cinema, don't look for, don't go to a certificate place. Park where everybody's parking. Park in a heated place. So it's very, these tips are very, very important. So I have two more questions, then we'll be done. Yeah. So my second to the last question is that we're talking about driving tips and to ensure that we are safe. And a lot of people are traveling, but Lagos is soon going to be almost empty. So how do we ensure that... Um, um, what measures can we take to reduce um, road accidents? Because it's part of safety. So while driving your car, I know you earlier mentioned don't drink and drive, don't uh, overspeed. What other tips can what, what other measures can we take? Can I take to ensure that um, we reduce the the road accidents? Okay, so you know for it to reduce road accidents, right? So um, okay. I, like I mentioned before, um, don't don't overspeed. I mean, so just stay within the speed limits, and then also don't don't um, drink while driving. Um, okay. A whole lot of people are actually very um, are very used to pressing their mobile phones um, while while driving. So it, it's yeah. really important we need to pay attention to the road. Fine, the room might actually look a bit free at the moment, but um, during festivities, um, 
you you also want to give your full attention to um to uh you need to be road conscious and then give your full attention to how, where you're going to or how you drive and also you, you need to like make sure you're not drunk while driving and you're not being distracted by your phone or by a call or something like that so just do that one after you finish um parking and all like that so and and again um it's really important um to also note that if you have any valuable in your car and um, it's very preferred mm. you actually put them in the boat um, so instead of just leaving them on the seat, so if you know they're actually very, they're valuable, like your laptop or probably anything that is actually of high value to you, just leave them in the boat and then why you just um, continue continue with your journey and all. Yes. Okay. Okay. So thanks. So thank you so much. Thank you for those tips to ensure that we are safe on the road. So lastly, I know you mentioned some of them earlier in the conversation, but um, are they um, tech solutions that can help us stay safe? What, um, as a business, as an individual, what um, tech solution can I employ, can I use to um, ensure that um, I'm safe, uh, that I'm not, intruders are not able to to come in and all of that? What yeah. tech solution can I would you suggest? Okay. So I, I'm also going to share the experience too. Um, so okay. there, there, was, there was a time I was, I, was, um, I, I walked up from the island um, and then it was like a 24 hours hours work and I mean gig and like that. So and I had to like go back the next morning, and then um, I I took uh, I took out my phone, ordered the ride on um, on Uber, and, okay. and then I I noticed that number one um, the driver was looking funny, and I I didn't trust his face. I was like no no no, no, no. I don't trust this guy. I no no I, I can't enter this car. So what I did was I I reached out to my friend. I told my friend, say, I don't trust this driver and I don't trust this car. But you know what I want to do? I want to share my life location with you. So just in case anything okay. happens, if I yeah. don't call in the next two hours or if you don't hear from me in the next one hour or so, just know that <laughs> this guy is missing. <laughs> or probably, <laughs> you know how it is what was being. <laughs> so, um, so, so it's really important that if you're actually going, going for um, – your your celebration, your Christmas celebration, or your festivities and all like that. It's really important you actually share your life location with your friends and family, so you okay. you actually don't get um you don't get found wanting. I mean, so yeah. with the security threat going on, I mean, one actually needs to be very extra careful. So for individuals who don't have probably have their own cars, um, you you need to actually share your life location. You need to make sure that um, the, the the person who you ordered for to come pick you, the same person you seen from um, the application, like the um, the boat application, the um, the Uber application, and also yeah. it's also the same person um, who you're probably um, if you if if you're getting the the driver from a top person, so make sure the the driver information is accurate. So those are for individuals, right? Then for yeah. um, then for. Um, businesses, you could actually use some of my few recommendations by installing a vehicle tracker um, tracking yeah. device on um, in, in, in your car to actually get to track your fleet. Uh, we also have um, I know there's a, there's a solution called Pro Drive that actually monitors yeah. your your driver's behavior and and so so in case you don't actually don't trust your drivers enough, you could actually inst install um, a tech solution called a Pro Drive, uh, which is more or less like a um, like internal vehicle management system. So um, yeah. apart from that, so you could also install, this is for businesses and for individuals, um, um, a social call C-Protect, uh, an anti-shutter film glass that could protect um, your valuables inside your car. And so even if anyone decides to become overzealous by breaking through your windscreen, it's not going to give in so easily. Understand and all. So, um, so these are some of the things um, you um, one could actually put in place in terms of technology um, to make sure to, to ensure that they are safe during this period. Their family members are safe. Their business is safe. So it won't actually re resumes in the new year, looking all good and all strong, and um, for, for for to tackle the uh, new year challenges and all. So this is what I have to say. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. That has been an amazing section. And to all our audience, every tech solution you had mentioned, we have them at Concept Nova. You can click the link on our bio to make your order right now. So please, um, in fact, I, I came across something recently. And I, I want to share that before we end the section. I was going through Twitter and I saw someone saying, oh, that someone came to testify how his car was stolen 
and in fact before he knew it, the car was outside the country and, and that he really could um, prophesy over his life and the car returned so i was now telling my friends please if you have a car and you do not attend Shilo this year, please get our, <laughs> our <laughs> contract. <laughs> very true, very, very true. I agree. <laughs> if we cannot add Shilo to our voice story that touches, please, especially this period, please. Uh, because um, God forbid is not a car tracker at all. It cannot happen to me. It is not it's not a car tracker. So it's very important that we use this to catch like I, I also see protect is an anti shatter. So if you park your car somewhere, before all these overzealous guys they try, if they try, they will notice that ah no, this one has is protected. This one has yeah. been see protected. So it's very important that like I said, the, the at the beginning of this section, with all the steps that have been shared, you know that you'll be able to predict and, and evaluate harmful situations even before they happen, just like um, our guest has mentioned from his personal experience. So thank you so much, Mr. Goffrey. Like, it's an, it's a, it's, but today's section has been very amazing. I love the statistics. I love the personal experiences that I shared. Thank you so, 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 so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, okay now. Thank you very much. So we're going to be moving up on to, thank you. So we'll be moving over to our Nobel Quiz. So I, I'm sure everyone had an exciting time, an exciting time. Like I said, this section is very exciting because it's our Christmas edition. So I'm going to be announcing the winners for our December, that's our December um that move right so this um, um section is quite interesting why because initially we used to give winners choose our winners from highest engagement and just because we we do our ig live on instagram we just have only instagram our instagram audience winning our, our prizes but today is taking a different shape we're going to give it we uh, having winners across all our social media handles so if for any reason you do not win today to increase your chances of winning, answer your questions correctly. Um, you follow us on, um, on on Facebook, Concept Nova. Follow us on Twitter, Concept underscore Nova. Follow us on LinkedIn, Concept Nova, and answer this question. So if for any reason you do not win on Instagram, you might win on Facebook, or on LinkedIn, or even on Twitter. So it's very, very important that you answer your question correctly and you have your, the highest engagement. Have your friends to come and like your your answer. Then you stand a chance of winning a giveaway prize. So straight to the point. For uh for LinkedIn, we have a winner to be Owe Olua Ayini Nu Olu Ola. Sorry if I I murdered that name. We have a winner to be Owe Olua. So I'll reach out to Owe Olua on our DM to give her her we are Christmas edition giveaway prize. So on Twitter we have Bethel do one as our winner on Twitter. And on Facebook we have God the Great Abraham Godi. God the Great Abraham Godi is our winner on Facebook. And on Instagram, Instagram was very competitive. Why? Because we have been winning our giveaway. So everyone was battling for the position. For but for our, our winner on Instagram is SC Queen 18. Like the lady is amazing. Her answers always have very, very high engagement. So thank you everyone for joining this section. It's been a very, very, very amazing time. Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year in advance. Happy holidays. I wish you all the best. Thank you for joining us. And please, um, I'm waiting to see you all in 2022. Stay safe. Please, all these tips that have been shared, try to, to implement them. Thank you so much and have a great time. Thank you.